Hey everybody, welcome back! Snake Review MX here, and we're playing Breath of Death 7 The Beginning. And we're in Lufes Bliss, I just grabbed Lita. I just snagged her real quick. Stay at the end there. You can't check these, right? Okay. Upstairs. The chest is locked. If you knew a master of unlocking, you'd be able to get the treasure within. Well, Jill Valentine isn't in this game, so we'll never be able to open that. Hey, listen! <laughs> and his name is Navi. There is some good treasure if you explore the off the beaten track, but don't tell anyone. It's a secret to everybody. Wait, how many Zelda references can you get in there? Two. The answer is two. If you go exploring the ruins of the east, watch out for that crazy techno freak vampire Lita. Actually, she's in my party right now. She's always there searching for new mat machines to mess around with. You know what I forget to do is the party talk thing. And it's going to act like I'm still there, because once you get her, you're supposed to do that dungeon. These ruins are such a quiet place. Doesn't the silence drive you crazy, Lita? Nah, I'm used to it. Besides, I'm too busy thinking about all the cool pieces of technology that I can salvage to worry about such things. That's true. Hey, Dem, we should keep searching these ruins until we make a great discovery of our own. There's bound to be something that sheds light on this ancient civilization here. It's got a bunch of junk to me, but we might as well keep looking. Alright, let's check out over here. Nothing there. <laughs> Shepard! Rex! Excuse me, have you seen my lost mutant sheep, Rex? Can't find him anywhere, and I'm almost positive I didn't eat him last night. Almost positive? Well, you know how things are when it's late at night and you're in the mood for a bit of mutton. <laughs> yeah, he ate him. He totally ate him. G Come on, now! Dem? The fog. You got a good feeling? I know I got a good feeling. I got a good feeling, too! Everyone around me is insane. Ah! That was weapons. Alright, so let's see. You can get a katana for Dem, and a shotgun for Lita. See, that's why I grabbed her quickly. And here, what do we have armor? Health ring. Okay, she's got the strength ring, which is 20 vitality. This is 30 vitality and gives her extra hit points, so I'll grab that. Uh, speed ring. Oh, wait a minute. I should have looked. I want that instead. That's 40 vitality. Alright, let me get the geek glasses and then we'll work. I don't have enough money. Alright, this sucks. I, I'm stupid. Alright. Let me equip the katana and the shotgun. Right, let me sell back some crap. I definitely fucked this up. Iron sword. Sell. Weapons. Handgun. Sell armor. Bronze shield. Sell armor. Pretty ring. Sell armor. Health ring. Okay. Buy armor. Speed ring. I won't be able to buy the geek glasses, probably, but let me equip this. Armor, speed ring. Okay. Ah! Sell armor, strong ring. Okay. Buy armor. The geek glasses is 600. I got 290, so we gotta fight some enemies. Oh, there's somebody up there. Let me go talk to her. It doesn't matter how many times you save the day, a good merchant still won't give you discount on weapons and armor. Very true. But a bad merchant will. Our continent is divided into four major regions. There's Pallid Lennis to the southwest, Lufespolis to the southeast, and Motherbound to the northeast. Yes, that is a reference to what you think it is a reference to. No one knows for sure what's in the northwest, on the end of the game. I bet adventurers like yourselves are just dying to find out. Dem, let's go to the northwest. We'll see. Alright, set 8600. Let's fight around. Actually, I just I walk around while I can just do this. Zombie wolves and giant snakes. Yeah, the shotgun is great because it hits everybody. Lead is level 8! I didn't, I didn't get to read the thing. Okay, bury alive or zap. So basically, you're going to choose whether you want earth spells or electric spells. I like the electric spells, so I'm going to go with zap. Just personally, I just like the thought of zapping things with electricity. Zombie wolf and a giant snake. Okay. We got blood rats and giant crabs. Jesus. There we go. Oh! Kill it quickly. Thank you. Thank you very much. Dev is level 12. Hit points up by 10, magic points up by 5. And I can get Rally or Shield Aura. Okay, so Rally gives 25% defense to all allies. Shield Aura is a passive ability that gives 10% defense to all allies. Definitely go with the passive ability, because you don't have to waste a turn using it. 
And you're thinking, well, it's okay to use a turn, but remember, the enemies get stronger. When you're fighting bosses, you don't want to have to, like, use something like that. Alright, one more fight should be good. Blood Rats. Lead is level 9! Okay, so... Oh, I, I hit the button too quickly. So I can get 20 magic and strength, or 20 magic points in magic. Uh, for her, magic and strength, I think I'm gonna go for. Uh, alright. One more. Zombie wolves and giant snakes. That's it. Sarah's level 12. Hit points up by 8. Magic points up by 8. And I get hit up, which is a passive ability that gives her just, she'll hit twice normally. Or mana regeneration, which will automatically give her 5 magic points in addition to whatever she would normally get. These are both great, but you gotta think of bosses. You gotta think of what's gonna be best. Hit up. Yeah, I have enough for that. Ah, shut up! I always do that. Did I ever talk to this one? I don't think I did. Ruins? Well, yes, I do believe there are some ruins nearby. Just head east, cross two rivers, and you'll find some ruins in a clearing surrounded by swamps. I've already been there. Already did that. Right, so, buy armor, keep glasses, because she has the glasses. And these are twice as good. sell her regular glasses. Alright, we good, we good. Stay at the inn real quick. There is a bonus dungeon that you would normally go to before going to the runs, but I wanted to grab Lita, because the sooner you get her, the more you could level her up. So that's down here. What do we got? Jellyfish! Much less of a danger now that I got her and her shotgun. Oh! Dim's down. Gotta do this quickly. Thank you. Alright. So here we are in Bonus Cave 2. There were only 10 battles here, but let's look around. What do we got? We got Crazy Fungi and Skeletors. Right, he's gonna go all the hit points, so let me, uh, let me actually go all out. Like one enemy. Uh, yeah, she might as well just attack them. Maybe she'd be good now. There we go. Nope. That is a dead end. The deadest of ends. That's also a dead end. Crazy fun guys and a Skeledor. Oh, not what I wanted to do. Got him. Lead is level 10. I didn't... I, I always hit the button too quick with her. So I can get Avalanche or a Lightning. I mean, like, they're both the same. It's like, do you want one or the other? I'm going to go... I like the idea of zapping things, so... Oh, that's a dead end. Just three Skeletors, no big deal here. Oh, that's a boss. Alright. Oh, might as well fight him. Let's see. Rargh! It's an ogre. Well, there's five of them. Sturdy ogres. Let's fight him, though. Alright. Definitely got a... Do it a rain of fire, cleansing, and let's see, lightning hits all enemies for 68 damage. Okay. Just seeing what's the best here. Death blow him. Hailstorm and lightning. Alright, pretty much got this. You only got one hit point, so there you go. Alright, that's it. You have acquired a death staff. So that's a weapon for uh, Sarah. Let's check that out. 
So she, she's she been using her starter weapons, so Death Staff's definitely better. Alright, cool, that's what we came here for. Skeletors! Got him. Dead end. Okay, two sturdy ogres. Yeah, you can run into them. Two sturdy ogres. They have a lot of hit points, that's why I'm going a little ham on them. Plus, I have a lot of magic, so. Okay. Alright, crazy fun guy and three skeletors. Four battles left, might as well run them out. Three fun guys and a Skeletor. Okay, lead is level 11. It puts, it, hit points up by 6, magic points up by 6, and it gets strength and magic, or agility, vitality, and will. Well, definitely bad, because there's three stats there. Two, three crazy fun guys and two Skeletors. Kind of annoying, actually. Let me just get, go all out here. There we go. Two more. Two Skeletors. That's easy, at least. Fuck them up! And one more. Two crazy fun guys and a Skeletor. That's uh, so not a big deal. All right. Got him. All right, let's head back to the town to heal up and regain our magic and save. And, uh, yeah. So now I think we actually want to go through the runes now. I'm just checking to see if there's not anything else around that I want to do. I think we want to go there. Zombie wolves and giant snakes. Hey, Dem is level 13. Hit points up by 10, magic points up by 5. And then get Battle Cry or Sword Aura. Now, Battle Cry is a special that targets all allies to give them extra attack. Or, I could take the passive version, which is what I'm going to do. Alright, let's go here. So there's 30 battles here. This is the largest place yet, Small Runes 1. Let's just start exploring. And is, there anything, is there a reason to go this way? Let me just see. I feel there is. Yeah, there is. There's a treasure chest. Yeah, oh, your mother! Oh. 900 fucking gold. Your mother. Okay. Alright. My friend Andrew just... Your mother. Oh. Wrong person. Okay, there we go. We got looters and ghost cars. I think the looters actually steal your money from you, so... Ghost car, though. And there's a cat driving it. I wonder if it's Toonsis. Toonsis, the cat who could drive a car. Sarah's level 13. Hit points up by 8. Magic points up by 8. And I can get 40 strength or 30 magic. Well, she's the mage, so... Probably won't get through this whole thing in this video. I'll probably break it at one point. Whoa! Two looters in a ghost car. crap. Okay, we got a looter, a lost soul, and two rusty bones. I'm going to take out that looter before he steals too much of your money, you know? Lost souls. At least these things are not that hard. I 
we go. Where am I going? Oh, through here. Okay. I'm like, what? Where am I going now? Or pass? I was seeing which one's worth it. Uh, okay, loader, lost soul, and two rusty bones. Took his ass out. Well, man, their asses out. Their collective ass. Lead is now level 12. Hit points up by 6. Magic points up by 6. I get sniper shot. Or... Okay, either one. Okay, one ignores defense and does 141. We'll go with the one that ignores defense, even though it's less damage. It ignores defense, so that's good. Wait, let me let me see what the other path's all about. I think that's the way you're supposed to go. Just want to see if there's anything over here. There is a treasure chest. Looks like it's gonna be a bitch to get to, though. So looter, two lost souls, and two rusty bones. I was getting a little low on Sarah's end there. Okay, here we go. 700 gold. That was worth getting. A looter lost soul and two rusty bones. Oh, he ran away. What a fucker. What a fucking asshole. Alright, now I'll go that other way. I also remember this part pretty well. It's been a long time since I've played this. Looter or lost soul and two rusty bones. That seems to be the, the party that I'm running into. Got him. Alright, this seems like a good spot to stop. I will stop here. I'll see you guys next time.